Hi, this is Tehseen. Today I'll show you how I model this gun in SolidWorks. So far I have been showing you know how to make various objects in Blender which is basically a mesh modeler whereas this one is a parametric modeler. Parametric modeler is basically an engineering modeling concept. So I modeled this gun you know, after seeing this one. This is the original. Mine is a little different from this because uh, I had only one view and there was a little bit of you know lack of measurements and everything so I just modeled as per my convenience so I modeled this way so what I did was I placed the 2d picture in background and I drew the axes first you know, of the barrel the base pins and the um, cylinder then what I did was I drew the cylinder first so you see this is uh, a 2D image and I used it to draw a cylinder I had to guess the dia all by myself so let's hide the image or maybe we can keep the image so that you can see how at what step what did I do then what I did was I drew the barrel so barrel is nothing but you know a circle which I extruded and almost brought it close to the cylinder there's a little small small space between this the end of the barrel and the cylinder then I drew the um, base pin the first one then the assembly which holds the base pin now if you see this is very sharp this is very sharp what I did was I used fillet function to make it smooth so you see now it has become smooth then what I did was I used another set of extrude boss basically what I did was I drew a sketch like this sharp one you see all sharp edges and then I extruded it on both the sides so I have a thick body like this now this has to be chamfered you see here in this picture it's chamfered it's not sharp edge same way here also I have done so what I did was I chamfered it so it became like this fillet let's draw fillet fillet is something you know that's used to uh, smoothen an infinitely sharp surface so I'll show you so you see this is very sharp what I did was I used fillet so I made it smooth you can see the difference sharp smooth it basically cuts it um, with a circle then what I did was I needed this um, body uh, behind the cylinder so what I did was I I drew a semicircle I drew a semicircle and then I revolved it along this axis 180 degrees and I got this solid body then I needed bullet chambers so I did a cut extrude for bullet chambers one aligned with the barrel so the remaining five you can see one two three four five and the last one is sixth one is aligned right now with the barrel then I made these cuts it's just more like a design um, no, so the cylinder I, I just had a on a plane I created squares and then I made them move forward and with the cut extrude I told it that to cut anything which comes in front of it up to certain distance 
then I used extrude boss to create the second base pin and then the base pin is connected to this block which is basically pivot, pivoted here so the block is created you know by making a square and making it, making it move forward basically extruding it so it's a box then again I extruded you know here I have created the bush of the cylinder then I created this frame it's nothing but you know, again um, I created this outline and I simply extruded it now what I did after that was that you see right now this solid cylinder seems to be sinking inside this solid mass because it's, this is this is completely flat in real life the cylinder would have you know space below it so that it can rotate so what I did was I I, I, I had cut this body with the arc of the cylinder to create space or basically a clearance between the two bodies and that's how this cut extrude so now you can see the space for this cylinder to rotate then I used cut extrude again basically this cut extrude is for this place again because this body was straight body but this back behind the cylinder required you know a space for itself so I had cut you can't see it but it's there so uh, if manufactured uh, this part would have a cut to uh, hold this cover of the cylinder then there are fillets so let's leave it filleting um, then I did a cut extrude for this bush inside this frame so that the cylinder can actually have an axis then fill it fill it after that for the trigger assembly I had cut here and then the trigger guard and the uh, holding frame of grip the wooden block isn't here still so it's just the metallic frame the, for the grip so again for this if you see observe what I did was I created a curve and then I simply extruded it then what I did was the block was simply you know uh, sinking inside this assembly so I created a space for it by cutting know again creating a square and then just moving it forward which is called cut extrude to create space so so that it looks as if you know this block is fitting inside this assembly then then the trigger simple just the drawing and the as in the curve and the extrusion mm, surface cut okay so what I did after that was I this base pin was extending way you know ahead of its actual position so I used a plane and I used that plane to cut this into two parts and remove the other part so the right length is there now now what I did was I extruded the uh, frame grip frame to create the grip so this is the grip part wooden part which is uh, there but this part is something that I don't want 
so what I did was from top I figured out you know, the, the curve which would actually make it align align basically this part with the main frame so there is no extruded or hedge kind of thing out here coming coming out of this place I want this flat aligned with this with this surface so I created a curve and extruded it and then use that so as you see you can see this surface which I created this show so this surface I created and with this surface I removed it's, it's more like a trimming you know the way you trim things so this surface trimmed off this additional part which was coming out so now it is gone so you see it's like you can hold it and you wouldn't feel the hedge out here then was this um, hammer again hammer is quite simple you know the curve which is extruded and then I create a clearance for the hammer and small small things that I did was you know for this base pin I created a hole here so that it, it seemed so that it looks as if you know it is fitting inside same way for the barrel I created the hole then of course the barrel hole itself otherwise the gun itself will look very unrealistic um, then again you know I created this cut you know out here to give a clearance to this object this body then again you know created hole here again to make it look you know realistic as if it's going inside then the the front aiming hook you know which is used then of course the hook which holds the um, base pin but you see this is this looks as if you know it's going inside it you know sinking again inside this so what it did was I I created a cut, you know, a hole kind of thing here so that it looks as if it's going inside. Chamfer, so I chamfered here, I extrude cut. So a clearance for this hammer when it's pulled back. And then you see this side I'm missing the grip. So I just did a mirror and I got this side. Um, now this hook which is going inside the base pin uh, needs a lock, locking pin. So this is the locking pin again simple you know an outline and then extrusion. And then again you know after after that you know what I did was I created a clearance for this so it doesn't look as if you know it's just a force fit 